Good morning, everybody. It's daytime. I'm starting a little bit late. It's 7 50 in the morning. And yesterday, my first video was 5 45 in the morning, and the passenger I picked up was at 7 45. So today, I decided to sleep in a little bit. Okay, we're going to turn the app on in the background, but I want to show you something cool real fast. Check it out right here, my friends. Making 2,104 in one week in Los Angeles, California. My interview is up. Ronnie Speed TV. It premiered at 6 o'clock in the morning. And uh, you know what? I haven't watched it yet. I'm just chilling a little bit. I'm going to check it out today. I'll probably, hopefully he doesn't mind if I put it on my channel. But he linked me in the description, which means technically I should get a little bit more than 20 followers today. All right. We're going to turn the app on in the background. See what pops up. And today my strategy is going to be a little bit different, right? Um, if you look over here, let's look at the earnings real fast. $1,189. And if you've been following me this whole week, you know my goal was around $1,250, right? We're already there, guys. We're like $61 away. So let's make it at least we want to get to $1,400 today. That puts us at around $211. And if you can make 300, we can be at 1500, which would be awesome because I love making around 1500 for the week. Active hours is 36, online is 81, and in 42 trips. If you watch my video from last night, you'll know all the details and my ride and my breakdown. I was kind of tired. I don't know how the video came out. And from yesterday, just a quick recap if you haven't watched the video from last night. $274. I was active for seven hours, online for 14 and nine trips, and we got four uh, tips. All right. I was trying to get to 300 and then I got tired. Ontario Airport put me in prison and I was like, no, nah, 30 minutes is enough. I got to go home. I want to rest. I want to be fresh. I want to be ready to knock this bad boy out. Okay. So the plan today is very simple. Um, look, let's count how many potential clients are there, right? This is not guaranteed. The way I look at it is like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is too far away. This is too far away, right? This is too far away. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five. There's five possibilities that Uber is going to throw at you. And if all five show up, well, you guys know, you know, it'll tell us in the map which way to go, right? And there's another one right here, right? Now, the direction that I want to go, it's a Sunday. We can drive anywhere. We don't have to go to Los Angeles. I don't want to go to Palm Springs. But we can go towards San Diego, we can go towards LA, we can go towards Orange County, wherever the app takes us, right? So right now, I'm okay with taking $10 in the direction it gives me when it pops out, as long as it's reasonable, right? Because I'm trying to cut my mileage down. A lot of you guys are complaining like, yo, bro, you're driving too many miles. Fine, I'll cut it down. Yesterday, I cut it down. Today, I'm going to cut it down, right? So if I get a ride this way, I'll take it. If I get a ride this way, I'll take it. I'm not going this way because this is going to Palm Springs, okay? If I get a ride this way, I'll take it because that's towards Hemet and that ends up actually in Temecula, which will take me to San Diego. So let's go right here. One, two, three. This is okay and this is wrong, so we'll circle it or cross it out, okay? We don't want to go that way. Now I'm going to turn it on and see what pops up. On top of that, I still have to put air in my tires and go gas, uh, put some gas in my car, so it's over here. But if I get a decent ride, I don't have to put gas in. I don't have to put air in the tire. I can do it on the next person, okay? And the time right now is literally 7.55 in the morning. You can see, always see it in my videos over there unless I put the bars in, right? And a little update because I'm a little excited. Check it out. Um, the hours are 2,243 and I calculated. I'm trying to get to 3,000, right? So the more people watch my channel, the faster I can get there and the faster I can start making money. Um, about 130 hours were watched on my YouTube channel yesterday. Just process that. 130 hours people watched yesterday. And every day that number slightly goes up, slightly goes up, right? And I'm excited about that, right? And I like teaching you about YouTube because if you notice, I uploaded, what, 10 videos yesterday? 12 videos? Yeah, 11 plus the last one I did right here. I did 12 videos last night or yesterday throughout the day. That's 12 10 minute videos or 12 minute videos, right? That's a lot of content. And every day, if I'm able to push at that rate, what ends up happening on our YouTube channel is more people join the WhatsApp group, 
more people comment, more people watch, and ultimately, you know, people start giving you money, people start giving you ads, people start sponsoring you, right? And as I do it, I'm gonna teach every single one of you because you guys know the drill, right? I'm gonna turn this on in the background now. And you guys know the drill. This channel is about YouTube, this channel is about Uber, gig workers, and this channel is about spirituality, right? And by YouTube, what I mean is I'm creating content in real time. I'm teaching you how to create content in real time if you're interested. If you're not, it's okay. If you're interested in learning how to drive Uber and be more abundant and be smart and just process how I think, how I process stuff and what ends up happening, that is what I'm realizing you guys are loving. Because when I read your comments, you're literally telling me, Every day somebody new tells me, yo, bro, by following what you're saying and by doing what you're doing, I'm driving less hours, I'm making more money, and I'm taking less trips. Not only are you thanking me, but some of you are giving me tips, right? You call me or you text me, you get on my WhatsApp group, and literally every day a new person gives me a tip, which means I can drive less Uber and I can make more videos, and the faster you guys can stop driving Uber, all right? Nothing popped up, but I'll let you know. And I'm gonna start driving now because I don't wanna waste any time. All right, I told you guys I'm gonna take the first one that pops up. Let's go, right? Because I don't wanna drive too many, oh, did I get it? No, I did get it, I can't tell. I just wanna take it because, um, look, it's money, it's very close to where I'm at, it's $8, and who knows, from Yukaipa, I might get somebody else, or I'll try different gas um, uh, for my car. You know, I learned something new because normally I don't go to Yukaipa. Now understand I was driving, right? I'm not a slave to Uber. I pulled over and I understand I gotta pick up this person right here, right? But I'm gonna start my notes. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna write down the name of the person. D U Yes. O N G, man, that's a tough name. Where am I? I think I'm in Bayman. Baymount to Yukaipa. Man, it always spells it wrong. Bummer. And I think it's an Uber X, if I'm correct. Yeah, Uber X. And then I also have to say what I did this morning. I recorded two YouTube shorts. I've actually been recording them for five days and I haven't posted them. So it would be a good idea to f post five YouTube shorts today. Today is Sunday. My plan is very simple. Hit my minimum for the week for 1250 and then just take it easy and go $50 at a time and see if I can get to $1,500. I'm trying something different. I'm not going too far to pick up people and I'm taking smaller rides. If I can get $9, $10 and it's close to me, I'll take it and I'll let the algorithm dictate which way I should go. All right, now it's time to drive. Oh shit, his address showed up. Because his address showed up, I can't upload this video. I have to uh, just dropped off the first passenger and check it out. $9.17. Because the wait time went up, I made another dollar, right? So we, we milk every single penny we can. And they were nice ladies. They gave me a $5 cash tip because I got out. I helped with the car seat. I put the seat down so the lady can go in the back. And I said hello, and I basically greeted them, right? So just by being nice, by being kind and getting out, and they're at some nail spa, right? And they don't speak any English. They barely spoke any English. But if you do a good job and you do good customer service, customers end up giving you a tip, right? So the first passenger, I've driven 12 miles right from my home. I dropped them off. I've made $9 plus 5 so $14. So $14 for 12 miles. This is how we're gonna to start today. We're gonna to take it nice and easy, my friends. Dropped off the first passenger. Now I gotta edit the video because the address showed up and I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm picking up the passenger, dropping them off, and then showing at the end of that video how much I made, okay? So now I'm gonna turn the app on uh, because I was taking a break. It's Sunday, I've made my money pretty much. I'm taking it nice and easy. Now, the same, same thing as what I was saying to you guys earlier this morning. I've driven 12 miles. The lady gave me $5 cash, so I've made $14. So I'm just nice and slow, just drive, right? Right here, it's showing 
let's take a look at it. It's potentially showing one, two, three, four, and I'm right in the middle, right? Logically, it makes sense to go this way, right? Start heading towards Redlands, right? So I'm slowly gonna head that way. I also just got gas in my car. I'm sorry, gas in my car, put air in my tires, and washed it, right? I hadn't washed it for a week, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna pay six bucks, this is nice. Let me show you the details from this last passenger. Um, so it's $14 with the tip, right? The distance was very little. Look, nine miles, it took 15 minutes, and I'm just relaxing, I'm just chilling, taking it easy. Then if you look over here for the week, we're at 2000 right? That means another $50 to go today to make my minimum. Now in the background, I just uploaded a YouTube community post right here. Um, it shows, I said thank you to Ronnie Speed TV for the interview, how to make $2,000 in a week. It's a 53 minute interview, check it out. It's on both of my YouTube channels. Let me know what you, what you guys think. Honestly, it is the first time I interviewed. It's actually my first interview for anybody on YouTube. And uh, let me know how I did. Give me some feedback. Tell me how I can improve. And uh, pretty soon I'm going to be interviewing you guys. So remember, if I'm behind the camera and other people are interviewing me, I'm going to be interviewing you guys very soon too. And I got a surprise for you right now. So this is Jamie. I'm going to interview him next week. But look at what he said. This is my best day on earnings thanks to your content. And he's showing $154, right? I think he made more money over here. 267, right? But maybe he joined my, my, my YouTube channel a little bit later. And look, look at his numbers right here. This is literally what he shared with me. He was active for four hours and let's say 45 minutes is just easier. And he was online for five hours and 45 minutes. So basically, only one hour of downtown, not downtown, only one hour of downtime. Downtime, God damn it, get it right. Okay, now check, check this out. On top of that, eight trips, right? This is what I'm talking about, guys. You want to be able to make your money in the least amount of trips as possible, right? Now, if you look further down, you can see uh, he did receive some tips. That means he's doing great customer service. Other earnings, um, you know, that's whatever Uber does. Then you got a $2 promotion, absolutely. Take every single thing you can do. And my friends, everyone that is texting me, um, I'm encouraging them. L literally, this is what I told him. Nice, that's pretty good. It's very little downtime. Awesome money and tips. And you made your money quick. Good job. Remember, make your money in Uber and save it. Also have a backup plan. My channel is to motivate and encourage you guys to make money while you're sleeping and stop driving Uber. He said he's going to be a mechanic. I said, perfect, that is recession proof. And on my WhatsApp group, if you look over here, we have a new person that joined. Uh, his name is Jacob. Um, he goes by Voltic Raider. He has his own YouTube channel. Let me show you. This is basically his YouTube channel. Check it out. I gave him some feedback a little while ago and he did make those changes, which is awesome. And honestly, he texts and comments on my videos. I give him feedback whenever he asks for it. If he doesn't, um, give him some love. Check out his channel. Uh, let him know in the community like, yo, keep driving Uber. Keep pushing your YouTube channel. And if you found him by watching my videos, let him know, hey, we found you through Ahmed, um, through AA Creation 911 or Ride X Serve. And now on my Uber channel, I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to him. And unfortunately, I turn all notifications off because my phone goes crazy, right? I have too many things going on at the same time. But check it out. You can actually see me commenting on his stuff about a month ago. And I'm going to comment on his stuff right now just to let him know what's up. And this is the review that I did for his YouTube channel uh, over a month ago. The review on my channel has gotten 30. But you can do a research for it. Or not research. You can search for it, right? If you look right here youtube channel review and feedback and put in voltic raiders and check out his channel check out the review i did and if you want to start a youtube channel or if you're following me for real-time content creation go ahead and um, check out this video it will give you an idea i've done two youtube reviews one for him one for chicago rideshare master both are in a playlist 
and they'll pop up and if you want me to review your YouTube channel let me know I will be more than happy to okay now back to uber it hasn't done much no problem what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive out this way and see what happens and I think when I start moving it'll pop something and uh, one of the things that I learned from uh, a youtuber Stefan uh, here's the deal I'm actually got to get him on my whatsapp channel and I gotta interview him very soon he's he's probably one of the best youngest uh, uber drivers well he's not young he's kind of old but He's one of the newer Uber drivers. In less than a year, he understood what's going on, what's taken me five years to learn, and what, what is what I'm teaching you guys. So he basically says, um, hey guys, stay somewhere for five, 10 minutes. It doesn't make sense. Then slowly move to another spot and then wait there for five, 10 minutes and then bounce, right? So this is literally what I'm doing. I'm gonna take this opportunity, go about eight minutes, 3.8 miles, see if Uber gives me something. If nothing, wait there for five minutes, work on my YouTube channel, and then keep going. Oh yeah, one more tip before we get going. This ride right here, I don't know if I've already said this, if I'm doubling up, my apologies, but the first passenger that I picked up, look at why the price increased, and this is where I figured it out. You earn more for this trip because you got a wait time. So guys, every time a passenger is taking their sweet little time, don't worry. We can make another 20 cents, we can make another dollar, we can make another two dollars, meaning we're making a little bit more money, it's okay. I wait, I don't start the app, uh, I let them get in, I let them buckle up, um, I check in with them, okay, good, you're ready to go, they say yes, and if they're already late and they're getting out of the garage and they're barely getting in the car, guess what, two, three minutes of waiting, I'm working on my YouTube channel, I'm taking my notes, right, so right there is another dollar that I earned, well, in this case, I earned another 20 cents, but there's times where I sit here and wait for people, especially on a comfort ride that take a little bit longer to come, and guess what? A dollar here, two dollars here, a five dollar tip. This ride went from eight dollars and ninety eight cents to being fourteen dollars and seventeen cents because of the tip, because of the patience, because of going out and helping them. Right? Customer service turned this into a third more than what I was supposed to get paid, and that is what I'm teaching you on my YouTube channel. I actually changed it. I'm already in Jakaipa. I don't want to wait in Jakaipa, so I'm going over to the next city, which is Redlands. Redlands is a bigger city and there's a university there, right? So Yukaipa is uh, not much going on. Like I think I was there about half an hour washing my car, um, taking notes, um, you know, working on my podcast. Um, and when I gave it a half an hour, it's because I'm taking it easy. If it was a Friday or a Thursday and I had to make my money, I, w I probably wouldn't have waited more than five minutes. But Redlands, I think I should be fine when I'm in Redlands. Uh, this is it's like 9.15 in the morning, 9.17. By the time I get there, uh, people should be getting up and there's a good chance somebody needs to go to church, right? Um, so, and there's students there, so hopefully they're, they're, they're up by now. It's similar to UC Riverside. Around um, 8, 9, 10 in the morning, they wake up and uh, you wanna be there. Um, kids need to run their errands, right? They, they, and sometimes they wanna go out and uh, enjoy the day and not be home the gas is three dollars and 99 cents right and i can't pass that up so while we're getting gas might as well uh, allow uncle uber to give us another opportunity otherwise trust me i'm on my way to redlands and a little preview about this video and the one from this morning i recorded i'm doing something a little bit different I'm gonna give you three passengers at a time and I have an intro and have it nice and clean. So it's all getting ready right now. Now, believe it or not, I'm watching my own interview and I'm enjoying this. And I said, thank you to Ronnie, right? It's kind of cool. Like it's already gotten, uh, I was looking at his channel, 140 views and 19 likes. And I commented on my own interview. Come on, man, I gotta promote myself. I realized that if you don't promote yourself, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of hard, right? But uh, all right, and in the background, I got the first video ready. Let me show you guys. So the first video is literally ready. The first part is ready. And I've gotten some sound effects in there for you guys this time. And I blocked out, uh, where, where is it? There's a part where I sh the address shows up for the customer. I've already blocked that out. Let me show you that right here. I blocked it out right there, and I blocked it out right there. 
and you know this one's to subscribe and I put the ending in for you guys this time so ending basically means after I made my money um, I made a video after that oh uh oh oh hell yeah where is that going lost oh my god I was just sitting here working on my oh my god four six seven four six seven all right we'll do it we'll do it we'll do it Bella Vista what are the odds of that guys I didn't even I didn't even make it to guys I didn't even make it to freaking um, Redlands. I was sitting here putting gas in, editing, and uh, all right, we got one more passenger. Let's go. Just dropped off my second passenger. We are at $69, and by looking at the map, can you tell where I'm at and why the app is off? That's right, South Central Los Angeles. And if you remember from my video the other day, we don't put gas in, we don't pick anybody up here, we go straight, right? But before I tell you where we're going to go, let's just keep an eye on LAX. Woo! That's a lot of people, but it is 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock is a good time to be here. Actually, to be exact, it's 11.32, uh, okay? Now, this is what I'm going to do. Let me show you what happened with the last passenger so we can look at the details together. Because uh, Uber screwed us over. Not Uncle Uber. Uber driver app. But I think it was worth it, right? I took this passenger at 9.30 in the morning from what I remember. 9.35, close enough. Yes, we got paid $60. And from Yukaipa. Yukaipa is like 10 minutes from where I live. It brought me all the way to Los Angeles. $60 is very good. But this is my question. Right here, we got screwed for 20 bucks. Look, the distance is 81 miles. This should have been $80. So this $20 that went into... Either the passenger, so Uber can keep them uh, for future. But I kind of understand this. Look, if I brought somebody in Compton, South Central, you know, there's not a lot, lot of wealth there, right? So if they save 20 bucks, I'm cool with it. I don't mind. But if Uber put it in its pocket, that's just disgusting, right? Okay, now let's take a look at where I'm at for the update. Uh, today, we've done two passengers so far, okay? Well, let's change this to today. Oh, not yesterday, today. Okay, today I've done two passengers. The first passenger, you already know I got a $5 tip. So that basically puts it at $75. And I'm going nice and easy. I'm not going fast at all, right? And for the week, I'll give you a quick update because, uh, you know, it's always fun. It's always fun when you get over 2,000, right? So we're at 1,259. That was my goal for this week. I've already made it. So time is 11.33. I'm still going to drive. I want to try to get to 1300 now. Then I want to try to get to 1400. If I can get to 1500, that would be awesome. If not, it's all good. Right here, you can see 44 trips. That means I still have five more people I can pick up to stay under 50 trips for the week. If it's hot, I'm going to ride it. If it's slow, I'm going to go home. Around 49, 50 trips, I'm going to go home. And I'll start working my way home. Okay. And in the background, let me show you what's going on. This is a video that I'm editing for you right now that the current video will be also on here, but I've already gotten 20 minutes of it done. This video that I'm recording will go on here and then it'll be exactly 30 minutes long or roughly 30 minutes long, right? So now instead of giving you 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there per passenger, I'm trying to combine it and have two, three videos and then post it. So, you know, it has a little bit of a story and a little bit more and, and change it up a little bit, right? I'm getting tired of doing 10, 12 videos a day. It's a lot of work. So I'm going to slow it down a little bit, right? Also, I need hours on my YouTube channel. So if you guys can go to one of my playlists and just play it on your phone for 10 hours, right? Or at night when you're sleeping on your laptop, just play it, right? It'll allow me to get to 3,000 watched hours. And once I get to 3,000 watch hours, then I can monetize. We can do super chat and I can add a shop where, you know, if there's some stuff you like, uh, like a shirt or a mug or a hat, you can support me, right? People keep asking me like, hey, Ahmed, how do we support you? Well, that's how you can support me so I can keep making great content like this, right? $5 here, $10 here. Trust me, guys, it ends up adding up. Now, just for fun, we're going to turn the app on, right? In this situation, I want to make sure Uber X and the Uber X share is off. In Compton, like, I don't want to do that, right? I definitely don't want to do pets out here, right? So pets is turned off, right? Package? I'll do a package out here. I think, oh, shoot, I don't know. Well, we'll find out. Comfort is on because I want to see what happens over here, right? Let's see if I can get something. So we're just turning the app on just to figure out what's going to pop in the container, okay? 
And once it starts popping, and let's say a lot of rides are showing up, in that situation, I'll know, okay, I can use the destination mode to relocate myself, right? But I, most likely, I'm not going to pick up anybody here, right? First thing you're going to notice is this. It's showing us a four stars, four stars, and these are three stars, right? This means, okay, there is a surge here that's being hidden from us. No problem. Let's zoom out a little bit. Ah, this is very good, right? Look, if you look at LAX, it's showing four stars, four stars. So number one, I'm thinking I'm going to go this way, okay? Number two, you can see over here <clears throat> in uh, just past West Hollywood, there's a surge, okay? This, both of this just tells me that this area might be a little bit more of a priority for me to go. And maybe Uber's going to try to push me that way, right? You see these stars right here? Uber might want to try to push me this way, right? So I'm just trying to understand what the algorithm is doing and figuring, figuring it out for myself. Now, if you notice, the distance from Long Beach Airport to Los Angeles is, is roughly the same, right? So if I need to go in a direction, let's look at Long Beach and see if I should go towards Long Beach. 41 out of 45 is not, fine, not bad. And one flight, that's not good. And uh, what is, okay, so it's, it's actually busy. There's a lot of people there. But let's see, when is it going to peak? Ah, okay, we are over here at 11.30, right? At 12 is going to pick up a little bit. But looks like Long Beach by 1 is going to be good. 2 is going to be good. 3 is going to be good, right? So that is basically going in my mind right now, right? If I am close to Long Beach around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, that is very good, okay? Now let's do the same thing for LAX. Well, we're not even going to bother with that right now, okay? But remember, right now we're paying attention to, to seeing what the algorithm is going to do for us in the background. Right? We want it to go do 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 We want it to go crazy, okay? Let's look at LAX. 281, no, not bad. Because 281 at 1130 at LAX will go fast. I think right now I'm going to go towards LAX, right? I think that's the right move. You can let me know in the comments, right? And LAX is basically showing at 12, no, no, around 3 o'clock it picks up again. So now in my mind, it's I'm just going to memorize this. 11 o'clock right now is good to go towards LAX. Possibly 3 o'clock is good. And yes, 5, 6, 7, 8 is always good at any airport. At any airport, if you can get there around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in Los Angeles, is very good. Okay, we're going to use this as a guide. We're going to start going that way. And then when I get closer, I'll decide what to do. Okay, I'm not 100% committed to this. And you know what? I'm most likely going to just take Englewood. I don't know why it's making me go this way. Oh, I know why it's making me go that way. I'll tell you in a second. I'm actually going to go here and, and use this, right? And another one of the tricks that I've been teaching you guys is this. Go here and tell Google to guide you. Don't use Uber anymore. And Google will actually tell you the best way we can get there. And then we can kind of figure out how long it's going to take. All right, let's zoom out. It's actually saying it's slower to go through Englewood. That's interesting. Oh, it's because it's taking the freeway. No, I'm going to take Englewood to go. Oh, my goodness. You give me another five bucks? Oh, seven. Good. All right, no problem. Get out of here. All right. Now, what we're going to do is, I know there's a faster way to go there, right? I understand there's a faster way, right? Like, I'm not dumb. I get it, right? But remember, when you go on the freeway and you get there faster, it doesn't really help you because the algorithm is a little bit slow, right? I don't know why. The algorithm is a little bit retarded. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the slow route. We're going to get out of Compton. Let's go over here. We're going to get out of Compton. And then when we get a little bit closer to Inglewood, and maybe I'm thinking like somewhere here. Oh, sorry. When we get somewhere here, there's a potential for us, right? It's going to take 33 minutes. It is what it is. I don't want to be in Compton and I want to play it safe, right? I don't want to get carjacked. Right? There's a, psh, damn man, that lady's looking at me. That dude that was walking over here was looking at me. I'm like, yo, there was another guy that came out of the alley. He was looking at me. It's like, I can't even take a pee. Look, I got a bottle here when I need to pee. And it's perfect for situations like this. You pee, you leave it here. Then when you get out somewhere, you know, you, you kind of, you know, give the nutrition to the, the trees like the dogs do it. But nobody knows. Nobody finds out. Right? I do it smooth. And if, if the bottle is Lipton, they definitely, if it's Gatorade, like the yellow bottle, nobody can tell, guys. Nobody can tell. Okay, God bless you. Have a beautiful day. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, upload it. And basically, yeah, it's going to be a nice 30-minute video for you to watch today, which is going to be slightly different than what I've been doing before. Have a blessed day. 
and um, ask ask good questions, ask great questions. And remember to check out Ronnie Spree TV. My interview is there. Hey, come on, I gotta show you guys one more time. I know I probably talked about it earlier, right? I literally sat there and I listened to my whole interview today. Actually, not on this channel. The interview was on the other channel. Let me show you. My friends, please check out Mr. Ronnie. This guy is doing amazing work for YouTubers, all right? I'll put my picture here because, you know, I'm, I'm cool like that, right? Ronnie Spee TV. Hopefully I'm saying it right. He's got 602 videos. He's got around 8.6 thousand subscribers. And I'm telling you, he does some awesome, amazing stuff. Where's my interview? Oh, man, where did it go? Shit. Oh, no, no. Okay. Yeah, Uber's showing uh, something else. Yeah, I'm right here, bro. Guys, check it out. I am right here. Check it out. Let me know in the comments. Comment on his video, comment on my video, and let me know if you checked it out and what do you think? What did you learn, right? This is about an hour long conversation we had, right? If you learned something, let me know. Let him know also because uh, I'm gonna interview Mr. Ronnie pretty soon. Have a blessed day. I'm gonna take a chance and I'm still in Compton. I'm gonna see if something pops up, but I'm gonna take a chance. I think I'm gonna take a chance. I am going to go towards Ontario Airport, but if I get 15, I'm sorry, Los Angeles Airport, but if I get something for $15, I'm going to take a chance, especially the surge is showing up. I am going to take a chance, right? I'm going to take a chance, guys. I'm going to be brave today. Yes, I said I'm going to take a chance, but I'm not going to take a chance for $6.30. With my life, it is important that I at least get $15, okay, Uber? This is interesting. I have Uber X turned off, but comfort is popping up. But last one for $15, somebody picked up somebody, right? I just had a $15 ride or $14 ride. Someone picked them up fast. So there are people that drive in Compton, right? They probably don't have my skin color, right? I'm pretty sure it's a brother out here that's driving. It's not going to be a brown guy like me. Trust me. We, we get scared out here. And in the background, my video is ready from today. It's going to be 30 minutes long. And let's see how it turns out. I'm going to go ahead and quickly export it. Then I'll upload it to you guys once it's done. Oh man, this feels good. All right, now we're gonna get started with Uber and we're gonna keep going. And remember, my whole style of driving my friends is very simple. Slow it down, take one passenger at a time, right? Take one passenger at a time, slow it down, work on your business, and God provides, right? These algorithms can't do what God has in store for us, right? What the Creator has in store for us, right? Even though they, they want you to hustle and hustle and hustle, I've shown you nice and easy with the tip. We're at $74, $75, right? And once we get to 150, then we'll try to get to 200. Once we get to 200, we'll try to get to 250. And when it's hot, then we're gonna ride fast and we slow down uh, our business, right? But until it picks up and it's hot, it's okay to just, just take it nice and easy. Right now, I'm off of Firestone Boulevard and Compton Avenue. I really want to take my camera out and take some video and pictures, but uh, maybe next time. Today I want to finish the week and make some money. I'll tell you what, if I get out here on a Tuesday or a Wednesday when it's slower, uh, those are the days I want to be shooting videos. On Sunday, I want to get to... No, I don't want a faster route. Why, why, you, why is Google Maps trying to be like uh, Uber? Just changing stuff and giving me suggestions for no reason, right? Let me go the way I want, bro. This is another cool thing about this phone. On the left, I'm exporting my video, but on the right, I have both um, Uber and Google Maps going. Just, I just wanted to show you guys. It's not like, you know, I just wanted to show you. All right, I'm gonna take a chance. I am taking a chance, my friends. I said if we'll do 16 bucks, I'm gonna take a chance in Compton. Wish me luck. Pray for me, fellas. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. I'm taking a chance in Compton. And it's a 481. Damn, that's close. We'll find out. Spanky, oh my God, I'm picking up Spanky. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. All right, Spanky, you better not spank me, bro. Spanky? Shit, should I cancel? Hey, let me know if you would cancel this. Or would you go with this? Let me know in the comments. Would you pick up Spanky or would you cancel? I'm gonna pick up Spanky.